Kashmir is a very uh, intriguing place. Uh, in the sense that I have never been to Kashmir earlier. On my first trip. And uh, at the outset, it's no, I mean, Switzerland is no patch of Kashmir, firstly. Uh, I've been to Switzerland, it's very Number two is I think the people over there, the common man, is, ex- uh, is extremely naive. Uh, the normal man on the street is extremely naive and, and, and simple and innocent, which I guess is the reason why they are in this kind of problem in English. They are not, they don't know much about the world. So uh, it's easy to get swayed or sway them, which our neighbors are doing. So, uh, yeah, so. Uh, that's, these are two main aspects which are real. I didn't realize that place could exist like this. It's truly paradise. In all, in all sense. I mean, in any possible sense, it's, it is a paradise. And uh, shooting over there was <coughs> was tough in, in, in terms of environmental conditions because uh, we shot in two seasons. One is autumn and autumn was okay. Uh, but winter was severe. Uh, we had uh, the highest snowfall last year, in the past 20 years. So we were uh, fighting against uh, temperatures of minus 15 to minus 18 degrees centigrade and uh, snow which was about 6 feet high almost, uh, I'm 6 to so it's almost like to me. So yeah, so uh, that kind of snow. And uh, But it was great fun, it was adventurous. Snowfall etc. looks good on stream. Uh, I was separate, uh, but if you're living there for 30 days, you open the window every morning and you see snowfall. It's not so. <laughs> it's not that scenic anymore. It's quite depressing. So we had to fight all those mental, um, mental vigor problems and all that stuff, and we did a good job. Of it.